Hello and welcome to episode 118 of Bobo Scrabati Records. Whee! Yes, so fresh recording session again. And uh, yeah, I'm going to start off with the uh, American line today, I think. So we'll pop out Mr. Splashy and make a start. I've um, been playing the Ferdinand a lot this evening. I've only had three victories in it, but I've been doing quite well generally. Um, it's really good. I definitely going to keep it I think so I'm grinding my way up to the uh, Jagdpan 3 100 uh, slowly but surely and it was a tough grind but um, once you get the top gun and stuff it's it's nice so I've never been really very good in tank destroyers either but um, I seem to be doing all right with the Ferdy so if you angle it quite well it can bounce quite a few shots so it's that three artillery per side blimey hmm tier 10 match Erlenberg Standard match. Okie dokie. Good, good, good. Oh yes. Some things I was going to say was... Uh, thank you Mick for mentioning about the drill. I uh, am going to be picking one of those up I think. Um, seems like a really good idea that the battery packs and stuff get uh, shared amongst all the different tools and things. It's probably about time now that I actually start to get some tools of my own together, you know, other than uh, a hammer and, you know, a few screwdrivers and stuff. I mean, I've got soldering irons and everything I need to be able to fix electronics, things, and that's what I actually do for a living, but um, to actually do normal household things like putting up shelves and stuff like that is a bit more of a task, so... Mm, yes, but uh, something else that Mick's been doing for me... Um, which uh, some of you guys might remember was sorting out a spreadsheet of um, all of our results since I've started doing this series which has been pretty crazy um, it's something that I've wanted to do for a long time and just not you know with with working full-time and everything like that just not having the time to be able to to put into it but um, whoa there we go um, yeah, well, Mix actually sat down and done that for us. Um, uh, we've been working and looking at trying to get something up on, um, like, uh, what do you call it, um, like Google Docs, to be able to try and um, let other people see it and edit it and stuff like that. Um, but it, it kind of works, but it kind of doesn't. I don't know if you guys know much about um, spreadsheets, but uh, the pivot tables aren't working correctly. Bit of a pain in the bum. Um, but it, it's kind of viewable and stuff, which is good. So I might share the link. I'll, I'll try and get it in the, the video descriptions and stuff. Um, that's probably not going to hit him, to be honest. No. Yeah, I'll try and stick it in the video description and things like that, so then um, you guys can take a look. Hopefully I'll remember. Um, like I say, it's not working completely correctly just yet, but um, I mean, hopefully we can work it out. I don't know if, if any of you guys know anything about Google Docs and stuff. Um, let me know. <laughs> we'll uh, have a chat about it. Um, but yeah, that's really cool. It's, um, it's awesome to see all the results and things. It's... Uh, quite surprising actually you, you see some of the things that have that have gone on mm, this guy's probably going to cop it before we get loaded I would have thought but uh, see if maybe we can splash him there we go so that U100 over the uh, the western side there I don't know whether it's worth us trying to get into a position to be able to hit him the thing is being behind that castle there it's I don't know, we'd have to move quite a way forward, I think. Maybe up to whereabouts our T T10 is, maybe. Hmm. Although that M103 is going to be in a position for us to hit, surely. He is, let's try and get aimed in. Need to rub one of my eyes. Okay. Let's wait and see if he shows up. We're not able to hit these guys, really. There's the M103. So, looks like he's going to sit there. 
There we go. So that was uh, HE pen by the look of things. Went right in his side. We've done quite well actually, haven't we? Actually, moving too far forward might be a bit of a, a difficult one. We want to try and support our Jagdpanzer if we can. So, oh dear, he's taking some hefty hits. Oh dear. Still reloading. Please survive, sir. We're trying to help you. Let's see if we can get something down on this T10. Shot away. Oh, I went over his head. No. No. Oh, we set him on fire. Awesome. There he goes. So there's the 100. The M10. Oh, the M103 managed to... Uh, M10. M103 managed to take him out. Boo. Okie dokie. Now, this E100 is probably going to disappear. Yeah. wonder if our Mod 1 might be able to spot something. Maybe if uh, we hang around over here. We might be able to... Hmm. Or not. A little light tank. It's going to be difficult to hit. We can give it a go. I don't think we need to though. I've got the hull locked down because I don't want to get spotted. Hopefully, yeah, it's managed to take him out, which is good. Now we need to try and see where this E100 is. There he is. We've still got a shell loaded, so that's good. Let's see if we can get aimed in on him. Let's let the same time happen and then we'll take a shot. I'm willing to risk a shot. Could have splashed him, possibly. Let's see what the bat chat's getting up to. Oh, 35 hit points, blimey. Not too surprising there, is it really? So the M103 is actually pushed down onto our cap, so let's try and reverse up a little bit, see if we can get shots in. Still got about 20 seconds left in our reload, so. Hmm. You could end up copying it really need someone to spot him though. I mean we could. Hmm. Alright, well he's low enough, he's got low enough hit points that I don't think he's going to be too much of a problem. Let's see if maybe we can, uh, balls. I was going to say, see if maybe we can get a shot on this bat chat, but not looking likely is it? Okay, well, I'll take a speculative shot anyway. Surprised he's still alive, to be honest. I would have thought the T-34 would have managed to uh, take him. Even with the HE round. Come on, man. Hmm. Okay. Well, I thought if we head up over this way, then at least if the bat chat comes round, then we could... Uh, we've got a chance of shotgunning him if we happen to have a shell loaded at the time. We might have to take a shot at this M103 if no one else can take him. Got four seconds left. Okay, it's whether or not this shell will land. Just has to splash him. And that fell really short. God damn it. Right, so it's just those two left. Hmm. I don't think he's seen us. Oh, I didn't realise the tank destroyer was left. That's not good. Ah, boo. There you go. See, there's there's a list of tanks there and I should have been looking at it. Damn it. Oh, well. I think that's probably going to be a loss. But, hmm, it's a good start, though. Okie dokie. Well, that was a defeat. But uh, I don't think we did too badly. It's a shame that we couldn't keep our... Yeah, pans are alive, but we managed 2,278 of our own damage there. Hmm. Eight shots fired, two direct hits. Hmm. Little bit of a loss, but premium consumables and all that. Hmm. Okay, nice. Well, next up, M53 and 55. Yes. Hmm. It's a good machine. Really, really nice. It's one of the ones that I've had 
considerable amount of battles in now. It's one of the one of the top artillery for me, I think, because um, I had to grind out the T92 completely. Obviously, I had six, seven hundred matches in this before I managed to do that. So, because you don't get much XP when you uh, when you're grinding artillery, as you guys know. So, yeah, let's go give this give this one a go. Mm. Aha, uh -huh. Sam River tier ten game. One artillery per side. Lots of medium tanks there. Standard match again. Okie dokie. So I might start off sat just behind this dune. Like this. So this new action script that they're using is a bit weird. The the mini map is either this big or this big, and there's nothing in between. Um, that's annoying because this is. We'll try it like this for a bit. When it's the one down, it's a little bit too small. I find it difficult to read the text, which is annoying. Um, but, oh dear, I didn't realise he was going to traverse that quickly. Okay, keep on getting loaded again. Kind of checking the map. Yeah, so some of the text is a little bit small. This is the standard map that you get in game now. This isn't XVM based or anything like that, so. Oh dear, yawly yawn. It's been a bit a bit of a strange day. With um not much going on, kind of lazing about and being a bit meh, you know, one of those days. Okay, let's see if we can get a shot on this. Oh, really? Okie dokie. Let's check out around here, see what's going on. That's a pretty hefty shot. There's a T57 over this way then. T57 heavy. Gonna have to be careful. Wonder if we can take this guy out. Yo Ho is firing HE again. They seem to do that. A lot of them do. I don't know whether that's a that's a thing. Um, maybe we should try and finish off this medium tank. I don't know. Mm. Oh, we would have done. Mm. Didn't realise the uh, prototype had good shots on them there. Bugger. Okay. Well, these medium tanks in the middle there seem to be being dealt with. I think this uh, 113 and the T57 we should probably concentrate on. Not really feeling too focused today, so we're going to have to see how things do go. Can I keep apologising for my... Oh, damage of the beast. Yeah, apologising for my yawning. I don't normally do that, it's weird. I suppose it is half past ten in the evening. And I'm used to getting up at, uh, you know, five o'clock or before, so... That's probably why I'm feeling quite tired now. I don't know whether to keep an eye here or whether to help down with the IS-7. Shot away. Mm. Not brilliantly accurate, these um, American artillery. Do have a really large splash, though. If you can get close enough to them, you can still do a hefty amount of damage. The armor piercing rounds, if you can land them, are devastating, but obviously it's landing one with a, with a, a gun that's so hideously inaccurate, you know? Right, well, we'll try battle assistant again. See what uh, kind of results we can get with this shot then. Oh, well, that was dead on. That's weird. Hmm, it is what it is. We'll take it. Well, this guy's not looking too hot. Batchat's probably going to get him. He has. Okay, 257's moving away. 
And he gets taken out by the little TVP. Those things are dangerous with those clips. Right, and now, now people are further away. We're going to have to make sure we lead them sufficiently. Go away. Okay, might try and get a little bit closer then just to try and shorten this shell travel time. Saying that, the VK is probably going to spot us. Unless we get down in here, maybe. That could be a good idea. Boop. Yeah, let's have a look. Let's see what we can... What shots we can get on people from here. Hmm. Okay, VK's behind a building. So he's been shot at fairly readily by the uh, VK. Oh, right in the turret. I wasn't sure that that was going to hit him, but... That's why I take those shots sometimes, it's just because, you know, you do get the odd occasion where it will work. I didn't think we were going to get up here. There we go. Just the Skoda left. Probably going to cop it any time soon. There we go. Haha, good game. Well, there we go then. A victory. Awesome. That actually felt quite good. 2,719 of our own damage and we managed to get a kill as well on the VK. Batchat did very well there just off of his top gun. So we're quite a way up on XP, it's not too bad. Eight shots fired with three direct hits and three splash damages. Hmm, yeah, just scraped a loss, that's a shame. But again, I'm running premium consumables on that one as well, so yeah. Mm. Okay, well, we're going to finish off with the... Uh, the M40, M43, this is something that I bought back, as you guys know. This was long, went through this ages before we had Marks of Excellence and well, almost before we had Tier 10 artillery, you know, back, back when it was Tier 8. So, yes, um, fresh crew in here. Grinding these crews takes forever, so, mm, yes. But uh, we'll finish off in this, see what kind of match we can have. This used to be very, very, very good, and now is hideously inaccurate unfortunately but uh, if you can land some shots you can you can do some hefty damage so let's go see what we can manage Karelia tier 8 match hmm we've got an extra mobile gun they've got three artillery on their side so god look the bird looks massive now doesn't he it's a bit chunky chunky monkey Oh, he's lovely. Right. Gonna sit over this way. A little bit risky, I know. But uh, it's just the way we roll. <sighs> I can't say things like that, can I? It just doesn't work. <laughs> I'm too British and nerdy. God, that's a lover already spotted. Blimey. He's not gonna stop, is he, and try and take some shots? He is. Blimey. Okay, well, we'll try and get aimed in then. Maybe we can get a shot on this CDC. Let's have a go with Battle Assistant. We seem to be doing a little better with that, so let's uh, see what we can do. Excellent, we did get the shot. Awesome. Right. I want to try and get some shots onto where that WZ11111 is going. Let's see if we can get. Uh, Aimed in and reloaded, hopefully it'll get spotted again. If he gets spotted around about here, that'd be good. We get a nice flat-ish shot on him. So, see what we can do. Looks like our T-34's headed up this way, so we might spot him. Don't think we're going to be able to hit any anything over near that Churchill, so... Okay, here we go. Damn it! Oh, we just caught his back end. Excellent. That was another... Uh, Penetrating shot, I think. They're saying that I think it doesn't the game treat any hits as a pen? I'm not sure. I can't remember. I think it does, but this guy's not looking too hot now. There's a super Pershing out in the water over there. Should we just take a quick look at that? And he's disappeared. Typical. Hmm. Now has he got the potential to be spotted again? 
Unless the T-37 spots him, probably not. Looks like he has, but he's behind rocks and stuff, so... Don't know that we would be able to hit him. I mean, we could try, but... Psh, that's not a very likely shot, I don't think. The only way we're going to be able to get shots down south is if we move around to where the Bert is, so... Don't know whether it's worth us trying to help out with this panther, maybe. Can get some shots over to him between these two humpy bits. Let's let the same time come right in. Do, 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 Oh, he's on fire. He's still on fire. It looks like they've got him sorted. Let's see if maybe we can get something down on this super pershing then. So... Wait for our STA-2 to light him up again. Hmm, maybe we should aim in and take some shots on these heavies then. Oh, I haven't got the radio menu anymore. Okay, now these aren't going to be spotted. That's a pain. Hmm, who's going to spot these guys for us now? Ah, there's the Lerva. And he's right behind a rock. Typical. So there's the Cromie. And there's the Churchill. And we'll see what kind of shot we can get on the Churchill. Went over his head. Right. Wait for a reload then. Our 3485 is being pretty scaredy cats. Which doesn't help. Looks like he's going to get overrun by the Cromwell and the... Churchill if he's not careful. Still got a little while left on our reload, so we're just going to have to wait. At least we're aimed in ready, so... Just stay alive that little bit longer. Ah, oh, really? Hmm, okay. Well, there's the Churchill. A few seconds left. Let's see if we can get something in on him. There we go. Now we probably need to watch out for this crommie and stuff. T-37's down, which is good. KV-2's all on his own over there. Back up, man. Back up. Let's see if we can get aimed in ready to try and get something on these guys. That T-34 just needs to be caught by some HE and he's gone for. Hopefully the KV-2 can sort something. We've got a shell in the spout. Damn it, I didn't didn't quite lead him enough there, but it looks like our guys managed to finish him off anyway. I don't know where that Cromwell is. At least we've got the KV-13 around us, so that's something. Super Pershing's doing quite well. The Lerva's still sat behind the rocks by the look of things. Is he? Yes, he is. Okay. Well, can we get a shot on this Lerva, do you think? Whereabouts is he going to have moved to? That's the problem. Okay. Well, we should be able to just splash him to death. We have. Now we need to get moved because of the Super Pershing. He's going to be heading on around this way, I would have imagined don't think he'd go straight across. I think he'd come up this way, so I probably would do. Wow, the T-34's still alive. He's only on like 10 hit points, isn't he? Something like that. Jeez. Okay, 12 seconds left. wonder if we can support RE-25 then. Let the same time happen. Hmm, he's decided not to come on up. Okay. There's the M12. Maybe we can get some shots down on the M12 then. Nah, we missed. Boo! Wow, the T-34 managed to take him out. You would have thought he'd have taken out the T-34 first, but... Okay. 20 odd seconds left. 
pretty sure we've probably been spotted now. And the Hummel's got him. Damn. Okay, this is looking like a loss then. Don't think we're going to be able to pull it off with this many people. Hmm. Okay, well. We'll wait and see then. Maybe the Super Pershing will come straight up here. Oh, we'll get an M12 in the side, one of the two. <laughs> it's just a waiting game now. Mm. Mm. I don't know whether we should... Should we go hunting for somebody? I mean, I suppose we could do. Oh dear, he's a lot closer than I was expecting him to be. There we go, we managed to get a shot on him anyway. Ah, good game. Well, that was a defeat, as you saw. Boo, but we did manage to get a shot right at the end there on the Super Pershing. Hmm. But we managed 2,760 of our own damage with two kills. So, second on XP and first on damage there. That T34, look at that, he had an amazing game. Finished on 10 hit points. So, managed high calibre as well. Damn. Eight shots fired, four direct hits. So, 50% of our shots, really. And two splash damages. So, it's not too bad. Yeah. Blimey. So, yeah, loss again because of the premium consumables. But, hey, you know, they definitely help out. They, they really do. So... <laughs> But looks like we've run over the 20 minutes that I try to keep these episodes to. So, uh, yeah, I'll finish off the um, the American line in the next episode and then we'll move on to one of the other nations, I think. So, yeah, I'm still trying to save some credits and stuff. So I've been playing lots of tanks to try and save some credits up to buy some other machines. But, yeah, so thank you for watching. Leave a like and stuff if you enjoyed. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. So until then, bye.